This is it, episode number 10, the grand finale. And have we got a show for you. For the last time this series, let's do it. Roll the titles. So when we first started Corey's Good News all those weeks ago, the idea was simple. You guys are great and you never fail to put a smile on our faces. And as we were entering these strange and difficult times, we thought that we should celebrate you and put a smile on your face in return. Now, I know things aren't quite back to the way they were, but Coronation Street is back filming. So we thought we would go out in style with you guys, the fans, front and center as the stars of our show. So I am gonna try and answer a few questions. And if I need any help, I might phone a couple of friends. Hi Colson, it's Michael from Conversation Street Podcast. Now, a lot of cast have had a bit of an image change in the past few months, not least yourself, Colson. And I was wondering what Corey's plans were to manage this so it doesn't affect continuity. Great question, Michael. A few people have been asking me this. So our makeup department at Corey are fantastic and they are working really hard on joining the dots on the way people looked before and after lockdown. For the more extreme cases, our script writers are adding in bits to the script where people comment on other people's new looks. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping that someone's going to say something about my hair. Um, no, on a serious note, for me, I've always seen Craig as clean shaven and ginger. So this will go and I will probably have to chop this out. Back to work. Hello, Coronation Street. I can't believe I'm actually talking to Coronation Street. I've got a question to all the cast. Do you know when you first went into Corey and um, it was like your first day, you got your big gig on Corey um, and you got on those cobbles, was you ever starstruck by any of the cast members? So for example, if I went into Corey and, I, and it was my first day of work and I saw Barbara Knox who plays Rita or um, Helen Worth who plays Gail or Beverly Callard, who plays Liz McDonald. If I bumped into them on my first day, I'd be like, oh my God! Ah! Well, hello. First of all, I have to say to you, Bagger, I am a massive fan of yours. Thank you. 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 Was I in awe of anyone in particular on my first day at Coronation Street? Oh yes. I think I was in awe of everybody but especially Julie Goodyear, who played Bette brilliantly, and Barbara Knox, who plays Rita, because she's such an amazing actress. But yes, I was in awe of everyone. Stay well. Am I dreaming? Did that really just happen? So why all of a sudden do I want Bag of Chips and Liz to become best friends? They could even share some outfits together. So next up, we've got some people who wanted to share some stories with us. As I approached Helen Worth, I uh, said to her, congratulations on your recent wedding. Nice to see that you've got married to a nice young man who hopefully isn't going to drive you into the nearest canal. And they both thought that was very, very funny. Hi, Coronation Street. Do you know, I've watched Coronation Street right from the start when it was in black and white. Um, one thing I've always wanted to do is to be in there, to come into the Rover's Return and buy a pint. A real one on the telly. Brian, a brilliant story. And Paul, chuckle, as soon as lockdown is over, give me a call and we will get to the Rover's and we'll have that beer. From me to you. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Right, next up, we've got some more questions. So my question is, Going forwards, are Carla and Peter likely to remain working at the Rovers or are they going to venture out and try new things? So my question is, in terms of Carla and Peter, once this current storyline is finished, what can we expect for the next? Hi Abby, hi Kat. Uh, listen, thanks very much for your question. I think they were only temporarily supposed to be in the Rovers, so I think that might be short-lived, but as things are at the moment, we probably will, they probably will write it that yes, we, we are in the Rovers for the uh, unforeseeable future. In answer to the other question, I think they've been getting on incredibly well for a long time now. And of course, you know, in Coronation Street, you can't get on too long too well. So I do know that uh, 
there is something coming up that uh, does actually upset the relationship in a very big way and I am not talking about this storyline that you, I think you're going to see next week so we have got somewhere to move to but I think it might be a, a long and quite difficult road that Carla and Peter are traveling I hope you're all doing really well in these challenging times so take care guys bye what advice would you give to anyone trying to make it into the acting world? I suppose what I did when I was like 10, 8, 7 years old, all I did is just watch films over and over and just mimic scenes from films and act out the scenes from films. And then I, I went to a local drama school, something that was very close to home so that I wasn't having to travel far. So I'd start off there, really, for me. And that's what I did, a couple of auditions and then eventually the, the Corey audition popped up so yes yeah, you, you can only learn from watching watching other people and that's what i'd so that's the best advice i could give to anybody i think this is danny from cradle of filth dropping by to say wasn't it great to see some good music on coronation street at last and if the producers are listening or watching wouldn't it be good to include the band into a current storyline weave it in there a little bit anyway that's me danny from cradle of filth Stay safe. Ah. Hiya, Danny. Thanks so much for your message. I hope you well. And yeah, I'm loving Nina's music taste, so it was really cool to hear Cradle of Filth being played on Cora. And yeah, I think it'd be great to hear more of the music Nina listens to being played because, you know, she does have great taste. And yeah, who knows? She might even broaden Roy's music taste. Hello cockers, Hackety Dog here. I think I should be the next big star of Coronation Street for many reasons. Number one, I basically look like Eccles and now she's not in it anymore, I am a budget substitution. Number two, I'm desperate to get into Roy's Rose and steal all of his meat paste butties. And number three, I've got one of Beck Gilroy's shoes on. Look at that, eh? <laughs> When do I start, Chuck? Uh, thanks, Hacker. <laughs> Great audition, but I think it's a little bit too soon to start recruiting a new Eccles. We'll have our people talk to your people, yeah? Now, from one talented animal to a couple of others, it seems that lockdown has given you the time to teach your animals to do all sorts of things. First up, Ollie the cat shows us that it's not just dogs who can learn new tricks. And then there is Teddy the hamster, whose death defying stunts kept us on the edge of our seats. And that is about it. Now, personally, I want to say thank you to everybody who sent in a video for this week's Corrie's Good News. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to see all of you, but I love how everyone has come together to make this week's Corrie's Good News extra special. I also want to say thank you to everybody on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for your lovely comments and your amazing artwork. Without you guys, we couldn't do any of this. So from myself and the rest of the team at Corrie's Good News, I want to say a massive thank you to you guys, the fans, for making Corrie's Good News possible. It has been a pleasure. I guess I will see you next time. Hello, I am Colson Smith and welcome to Corrie's Good News. I've got to thank all of you guys for sending in your good news. Otherwise, I wouldn't have very much to say. To episode number four, six... Six, two hands. Yes, episode seven. Lucky for some, lucky for you. Yes, I have had a few hours in the garden, if you couldn't tell. We're getting people watching this in New Zealand, in Canada, Australia, South Africa, just to name a few. I seen them the other day and I was like, whoa, is that what I look like? I was like, wow. <laughs> 20 years, this May, this year. How does that feel? Just look at that wiggle. Jack, if I say to myself, absolutely smash. Yeah, and I'm loving the virtual background. Hello, yeah. Jack. What? See, see it's for Craig, surely. Somebody said, would I like to do a duet with the cast of Cory? P O T A T O. Big potato. <laughs> like his um, shirt? A couple of his shirts, yeah. He's me. That is not my sister, that is my sister's dog. If we win, we don't like it. Jump up and <laughs> flash. Yes. How many episodes has Sharon been in? Oh, wow. 
Keep looking after each other, take care of yourselves, and I will see you back here next time.